there! Hey. So this evening we're in some place spooky. Super spooky. Kira's a little scared. She doesn't like spooky. We are at SeaWorld for their very first hollow scream. Brother. It's not Hello screaming. Scream. There's no screaming. There's screaming. Hollow scream. So we come in through the front gate. We get our parking. And inside, there's a note that says, no bags larger than eight by five. Now I'm guessing it's so people can't film their houses with secret cameras. You know what I mean? I think it's just for their safety. Like they don't allow that at like concerts and- oh, okay. And like football games and stuff like that. All right. So I'm not that smart. Yeah, and I'm not worried about it either because everything we carry is pretty much pocketable. So, we are going to head in. It does look like the smoke is starting out. Look at that. The fog and the front. Let's get going. There's the entrance. Now they did bring us into the side entrance, which puts us by one of the cafes. And this is right dinner. I want some of those. Chill acts, you know, chill acts. <laughs> is that where you get drinks? Is that? That's where you, that's where you get some alcohol, the chill acts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, there's no way it's obvious. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a... Yeah. <laughs> well, they go like full out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they seem a little frozen. Not good at all. <laughs> and we'll shop at the same place Kim Possible does with those cargo pants. <laughs> we are headed into Waterside Edge Inn. Let's go take a look. Now keep in mind we can't film inside the houses because we're not media, but that is okay. There's jello shot sirens. So this is gonna be their specialty shop. It says there's a zombie outbreak. That's not good. The shop is actually right at the entrance. This is some of their merchandise. I really like this shirt. I'm too old for this sheet. Guess I'll die. <laughs> and future ghosts. <laughs> they also have a no boo necklace. Lights up just like this. At the bottom of it is a skull. And it is $15 Neck in tax. Necklace does not guarantee a scare free evening. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Our uh, monsters will do their best to avoid you though. <laughs> this is the jacket they're, they're selling. It says Hollow Scream on the front. It is the Hollow Scream symbol on the back. Not just the SeaWorld Hollow Scream, but the standard Hollow Scream yeah. for all SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. And then it's on the sleeve too. And then they also have the shirt which has the houses. And it says inaugural 2021. Dash. Dash. 
<laughs> you look too long, you're too. I don't know. No! Maybe they all just have like promotion. Oh no. Why? Oh. Oh, I'm not running no way. <laughs> Like Ashley. Like Ashley. Oh, cool. Okay, ah! Smoke. Where did everything go? Whoa, my face looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> so first, I need you to tell me, what is Water Edge Inn about? It's about like a, it's like a hotel. Like you're supposed to be checking into some hotel, and it's full of souls who are. Maybe help? Yeah, we heard a lot of help. Yeah, a lot of yep. help. Towards, especially towards the end. It, it really, they built it good. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's just a, a, it's the first house. Yeah. Um, And you can tell that it, like it's a starter house. But it's as you go through events. Yeah. <laughs> it's a starter house? I mean event wise. Oh. Like year after year, a uh, company learns like better scares, better way to bring across the storyline. So it's definitely, a, you can tell that it's a starter oh, um, sense, event, so. but it'll get better. So if you're like into spooky or you're not into spooky, you, you did get scared. That but was, she got me good. She <laughs> got me real good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it wasn't like terribly scary because no. you're still here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's continue on. <laughs> So, I love Hollow Scream. Actually, we'll just wait until they're forward. I love Hollow Scream, but obviously they couldn't put Sesame Street in this. But it's great to see Sesame Street's light from down the street. <laughs> so we're going to see a show called Siren Song. It's supposed to be the story about the sirens that are here. I, I mean, we see, we've see we seen a whole bunch of sirens tonight. Um, it's their but, theme for this year. So. Right. It is their main theme. So it does make sense that like everyone's a siren. So I can't wait to see it. It's supposed to give us a little bit more storyline. I am the darkness. This world was ours. We would bring entire ships to the ocean floor and devour all aboard. And it wasn't our calls that brought them to ruin. It was their screams that drew us in. We ate, gorged ourselves on the weakness of men. And then we slept. Edge, letting you grow and become plump and content with the world. And now that we have returned to feast, what have we found? A changed world. The water, the source of all life. You have tried to take it from us. You have poisoned it. Abused it. You are not fit. And we will have our revenge. No one can resist the siren's call. We will feed on all of you. From every corner of this sea world, we have come to reclaim that which is ours. Let us fill the night with your howls and screams.
scream. A touch will make you wish for death as you struggle and shake to find your last breath.
from happening. We will feed on all of you, and we are everywhere. We will have our revenge. Because Kiara is so entertaining in that. I've never done haunted houses or anything before, so I'm very scared. So through the entire time, anytime somebody is scared her, she's going, good job, good job, great job. But she's like scared. So she's like got a heightened like screen voice. And she's, she's saying this and then going, Positive reinforcement, great job! <laughs> We're headed into deadly ambush. It's a little smoky out here. Same thing if someone parks, they're gonna call it a deadly ambush. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a fart and warm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's a fart warm. So who just farted really bad, they'd be like, it's already deadly ambush. Stop. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, she wants pretzels. Well, guess what? What? The wolves are my humans. Oh, oh I like wolves. You. Puppies. Puppies. Yeah. I'll be eviscerated. Oh. Torn to shreds. Eviscerated it sounds just <laughs> tough right there. What happened to Johnny? Johnny? Oh, no. Where's Johnny? I want to go to here! <laughs> yes, it's like camping. I hope I see wolves. <laughs> I don't see a wolf. I don't. <laughs> oh no! It's no good. There's camping. Wow. 
Oh, here, there's the wheels. Ugh. That's even more terrifying. <laughs> That'd be what'd be terrifying. That they had just people in giant orca costumes. That would. I think I have overalls like that. Here's a knife. Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, there's an outhouse. I didn't see one. You didn't? No. Where there's, are the There's wolves? somebody in a tent. That is not no tent. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Looking for the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I, you didn't get to see your wolves, I'm sorry. Um, oh, I heard them. Did you hear them? They were over there. I heard them. Yeah. We're now headed into Witchcraft Bayou. Oh, I bet, I bet he's got a good deal. I know real what you smell like. Well, he's a voodoo man, so he's probably like, like Trader Sam, you know? I'm more like Dr. Felicier, for good Well, I was gonna say Trader Sam, you know, two of his heads for one of yours. Yep. Oh, I think here's one of the rich witches now. Hello! You just fall it high, man. You just fall it I saw your eyes, and I was like, I had to talk to her. My name's Bernie. Okay. Um, Kiki? Kiki. You want to be my dentist or just the dentist? I, I wouldn't take that deal. No. You don't know around here. Yeah. It's not that. You never go to Louisiana. Louisiana has great food. Louisiana has great food. I should have took her off. Oh. Oh, ooh. Wait, yeah. Okay. That's a great offer, though. Oh, we don't get a choice. Uh, yeah, probably. I will probably. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> we are headed into Poison Grotto here at the Waterway Girl. We're going to see what they have to eat. There's someone dangling from the top, Kiara. That's so awesome. We got dinner. I'll be back. <laughs> You're fine. Stop it. Hun, look, there's a gator in there. You see the gator? <laughs> I saw a gator. <laughs> I thought that girl was singing. I was like, she's very good. <laughs> so there's a scare zone that's not listed. It's one of my favorite scare zones. It's a scare zone with ghillie suits in it. I love those type of scare zones because it's just loud noises. <laughs> we are now headed into Sea of Souls. Oh. I feel like it's a little hard to be scary on stilts because. I don't know. I feel like you did a good job scaring you. Is that guy right there? Yeah, you didn't even see the guy that we passed up, did you? you got... I just heard you go, oh! I went, oh! Uh oh. Yeah. It, it's pirates. <laughs> It's a little hard to see through that. Whoa. Go to the right there so we can see. Because I know there's... Remember there was the thing in the center right here? Some 
supposed to make you feel disoriented? I guess so. Uh oh. It feels like a So, we have come to the extent of where Howl's Green goes, which is over by the Sea Lion Show. It stops over here, which is great because it legitimately stops away from all the animals. The only animals that are around here are the sharks, which is over by the restaurant. So, it's really cool. The, what was that? Oh, that's what it was. So yeah, we've reached the extent of the map for Howl's Green, but it's really smart that they've really cut off the rest of the park from here. Yeah. Um, I feel like the only animals that could possibly be affected are maybe the beluga whales and what the seals that are in the sea. Yeah, the, yeah, the, seals, the, that seals, are the seals that are in there. Ah! Oh, yeah, she got me good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, because they are in, but it's in like, the beneath cute. the ice building. So yeah, that they could possibly end up being yeah, affected. Selling it over there. Okay. I gotcha. Like it feels like you're gonna like fall down. Yeah, it's very disorienting. Whoa, I can't see. <laughs> I think she's my favorite here. She definitely <laughs> has the loudest buzzer. <laughs> we didn't take any pictures. We're waiting for Monster Stop. Slasher Alley. I think it's a musical. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Not only is it a musical, but it stars. Do you know who it stars? Do you know? No. It stars Jack the Ripper. <laughs> I didn't know he went into acting. Yeah. <laughs> Good for him. That is really weird too because they never caught him. So it's impressive that they finally found him out after like what, 200 years? Yeah. yeah. I yep. if it is voices. I, I see the signs for it on the posters. So that was cool. But it was hard to keep up with. Storyline, there is none. But it was yeah. a concert, and they sounded good. Yeah. And it was very entertaining. And the masks were awesome. Yeah. The clear masks. They just had like the little... Yeah, the, the singing performers had a clear mask on, which was, was really cool. I was very impressed with his rapping. Yes, me too. I wish I went into it being like, oh, it's a concert or... Than a musical. Yeah, because like you said, there was no storyline. No storyline, and like I feel like you could appreciate their performances more when it's a concert. When you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so it was so fantastic though. Yeah. We didn't hate it. Oh no. We didn't dislike it. We didn't any form of the negative word of it. Yeah. Just be aware it is a concert, not a musical. Concert. Yeah. <laughs> We're now headed into Dead Vines, which is back behind Infinity Falls. I wonder if we'll hear flamingos, because there's flamingos back there. So I know it's dark, but I gotta say, we just had the best <laughs> scare in the entire night. We're passing this guy, and he gets really close to Kiara, and he goes, we're trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. It's very good. <laughs> In the best scare of the night. And Kiara goes, Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Deadly Vines is about like the jungle taking over. Mm -hmm. And it says, Is the jungle alive or is it dead? Or undead. Yeah. Undead. Yeah. I don't know why it says undead, but it does. I don't know. I didn't really see much of a theme to it. Except for the end. It was plants. <laughs> yeah, we did see a ghillie suit in there yeah. right off the bat. Um, but yeah, that theme didn't really come through. But best scare of the night yeah. was most definitely that guy looking for us about our extended warranty. Yeah. I wonder how that fit into his character, though. Because, like, I was so distracted, like, just get out. <laughs> um, 
I did notice his glasses had like vines across it. Um, because he was really close to us, like super close. Yeah. So, greatly appreciate it, whoever you are. Fantastic, hilarious. It was great. <laughs> Here's another roaming scare zone. We got chainsaws. She's got one too. Where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> I can't see. Look at an outhouse. What? I don't know. Just over the smoke. <laughs> A puppy! You found one! <laughs> Straight up and board with the dog and go. You didn't get to pet the dog. You can't pet the dog. <laughs> Silly. What? <laughs> no. Why? I like her dress. Do you see her? We have matching dresses. You have matching dresses. Sort of. Not tonight. Not tonight, yeah. Go to our plate. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh man, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, I didn't know you were one of them. <laughs> Uh-oh. You have a stain on your clothes. Get out of here. That's so rude. We were on our way out anyways. But... I know, right? That was so weird. <laughs> Look, he's giving us a present. No, thank you. You don't want it? Yes. I don't have a gift receipt for that. So... Oh. Look what happened to, like, the ice siren throws her. And then the. We're not protecting the ocean. Yeah. We need to do that. You gotta protect the ocean. Now, we did do all the houses in Scare Zones except for one house. Now, I don't remember what it was. It was like. Captain's Revenge? Yes, Captain's Revenge, which was a pirate sort of sailor thing. Um, I have seen something like that before um, because typically they have the black spot over at Bush Gardens. So I don't know, it's probably the same theme. Ish. That's yes. what it reminds, I mean, even seeing like the people from like the one scare zone that was kind of themed the same. Mm -hmm. Very much like Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Davy Jones is like ship vibes. Exactly. Um, but the line was just so very long. It looked like it was over an hour and mm -hmm. I'm tired. <laughs> so Exactly. <laughs> she, we gotta remember she's growing a human. And so bedtime. Yeah, it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah, believe me, the human has let us know. <laughs> she has. So but I am really glad I got to do this with you. I am so happy I got to do this with you. You're hilarious in the houses. You don't get scared, you jump a little bit, but the one house that we did, you kept screaming positive things. I think I'm a talker, like I get scared so I just keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just talking at them. Um, what was the, the other house? You kind of just talked through it yeah, too? Yeah, the, the garden one. Yep. So I appreciated it. 
We did have a lot of people like up in your face tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit more up in my face than I thought they were gonna be, but it wasn't because like things that I wanted to avoid, I could. Too. Yeah. Because like if you want to avoid them, just walk faster. Walk yep. faster than they walk. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. Oh no, it was a great event. Yeah, I had a fun time actually. Um, a few things like we had mentioned are just starter event stuff. It's not that the event was bad in any way. It was just learning things. Yeah. Um, I've never... And they definitely will because yes. I know I absolutely love Bush Gardens year after year. And they year after year you can tell that they're learning uh, at Bush Gardens. So they'll get it. I know they'll get it. I mean, Horror Nights has, what, 25 years on them, right? Uh, at least. Yeah. 30 years. Is to the, they're 30 years this yeah, technically so, 31. So yeah, they have 30. 30 years on them. So yeah, they know how to do it a lot better. And that's all right. And I've never gone to like a haunted house anything before. So I feel like even if you are a pretty, like a scaredy cat like I am, mm -hmm. I feel like it was still an event that you could do and like enjoy yourself. For sure. But I would not recommend it to kids. No, I wouldn't. Unless, I mean, you know your kids better than we do, but. Exactly. Yeah. Um. It is for mature audiences. There is some mature themes in, um, not necessarily the houses, but definitely some of the shows. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of a, that's definitely a parent thing. If you know your kid loves scary stuff and they watch scary movies all the time and they want to come. Yeah, they're into maybe, that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. So that being said, keep laughing with us. Subscribe and like. And bye, y'all.